Hey, Greg, DIY RV and Home, Camper's Life. Got my head stuck in the basement again. Yeah, well, did some more upgrading to our RV electrical system. And last year, we went ahead and added a 200 watt Windy Nations solar system to our trailer. Came with a PWM charge controller. I mean, it worked good for what we were doing last year. Over the winter, though, we really upgraded and added some oomph to our trailer we went ahead and put a Renogy 2000 watt inverter in and as you can see the board that I uh, laid all my wiring out on now with that I need a little more from our solar now currently we still only have that 200 watts up on the roof but I have now the availability to add three more panels so I can have 500 watts up there uh, running a 12 volt system. And the way I did that was I went ahead and got the EP Ever charge controller along with the MT50 display con and uh, control panel and installed those. And with that installation, I went ahead and removed that old PWM controller but I didn't throw it away, I recycled it. Go ahead and show you where I, how I recycled it. Now, as you can see right over here, I got my Jackery Explorer 1000, along with two of their portable solar panels, charging up the Jackery right now. It's just getting her chopped off a little bit. So right here is a plug for a charge controller. It's a 10 amp from Furion. Now, how this is wired in is here's your connector and it goes straight to the battery there's no charge controller on this so if you were to put any ground panels on uh, this system you'd have to have a charge controller and then go into this well I did it a little bit different I took that Winnie Nation charge controller and I put it right here I drilled a hole accessed the wires from back here and integrated the charge controller in when I did that I now can run up to 20 amps but this is only a 10 amp charger well I changed that up a little bit too right here as you see that is not the OE I went ahead and took the old one out added some Anderson power pole connectors to it uh, now these are available in 15 30 and 45 amp this one right here this particular one is set to 30 amp which that's rated at 20 amp so we're good with that I now can come over and when my jackery is full charged I can unplug my extension that I just made come over here and oops plug in and plug in and now I'm bringing in an extra 200 or excuse me up to an extra 200 watts of solar into our trailer to finish topping off our batteries keep them topped off as we see right here it is showing that we are bringing power in from the solar so now instead of just 200 watts available I have 400 watts available on my trailer thanks to Jackery and I still have the provisions to put three more panels up on top so in the end just the way it's sitting right now I can have up to 700 watts of solar on my trailer so now basically I'm battery limited I've only got two batteries so that's gonna be a near future uh, project is upgrading the battery system but here it is if you guys liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, until the next one, happy camping.